Hello friends and family from the Titanic Artifact Exhibition. Today we're going to head on side, check out all of the incredible Titanic items that they brought up from the ocean floor. And it's amazing in here because as you walk through the exhibit, like you literally are like walking through the Titanic. I can't wait to share everything with everybody. And also at the end, check out the gift shop that they have with so many amazing, incredible like items that you can't find anywhere else. Before we get started though, if you would subscribe and click that bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would really appreciate it. Just a little fun fact before we head on in, right over here we have Sand Lake Road and if we pan all the way over here to our left hand side, we can actually see some of uh, Universal Studios Cabana Bay right over here. That's just really interesting. But also, just look at this signage right here for the uh, Titanic The Artifact Exhibition. I can't wait to head on in and show everybody. Also, a fun little fact before we head on in here, if you're a Florida resident, they actually give you a Florida resident discount. All you have to do is just show your photo ID. It's a pretty substantial discount as well. We have the sign right here for the Titanic Artifact exhibit. The hours are 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday to Thursday and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday and Saturday. So I just entered the exhibit right here and before we actually head into the museum, like they have the uh, Grand Staircase uh, photo op that they have right here, just like it was in the movie, which is just amazing. Here's some of the prices right here for the exhibit. Adults 12 plus are $21.95. Child's 11 and under, $15.75. Seniors and military are $19.75. And Florida resident with ID, $16.95. Oh, look at this right here. Can you identify any of these passengers that were on board Titanic? Look at that. That is amazing. So we just got our tickets here. I have my boarding pass, which they give you for every uh, person who purchases a ticket here. And my guy here is Mr. Wallace Henry Hartley. I'm second class, and it tells you a little bit of the uh, traveling information and whatnot. But at the end of the uh, exhibit here, you scan this QR code, and you can find out if your passenger survived the uh, Titanic iceberg crash. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's go do this. Oh, we got some cool posters here of Titanic. One of the world's most enduring stories. She early in consciousness. Oh, look at this. We actually have some film right here. The Titanic was a technological wonder. Yet it was never built. Yet So we just entered the first room right here. They have a, uh, a reproduction of one of the uh, launch day tickets for Titanic at Belfast, Wednesday, May 31st, 1911 at 12.15 p.m. But right over here, look at this. Like with the windows and everything, it actually looks like you're looking at Titanic, which is just incredible. And this huge uh, propeller that they have right here as well. It is probably 15 feet tall. So right up here at some of the uh, items that they brought up from Titanic, how you can tell is right here it has the star, so that tells you that it's actually from Titanic. And then the first two numbers like here where it says 04, this was brought up in 2004, and this right here is the actual lifeboat turnbuckle right here that they brought up from Titanic in 2004. That's just incredible. Right here we actually have some of the rivets from Titanic brought up in 1998. Like that is just so incredible that they have that here. That is amazing. 
so we made our way into the next room of the Titanic exhibit here. Actually, it looks like we're on the Titanic now. It has number two. Over here, we have some different kinds of luggage right here. These aren't from Titanic, but this is really amazing. It's like period timepiece. But right over here, look at that. We have a pivoting porthole frame brought up in 1987 from Titanic. And look at this, not wanted luggage identification tag brought up in 1993 from Titanic, White Star Line. This is a second class one right here. Over here in this case, like literally all of these items were brought up from Titanic. We have some electrical outlets. These were brought up in 1994. We have some glass fragments, again, 93 and 94. We have a pulley block and hook from 1994. Like, they brought that up from the ocean floor. Like, that to me is crazy. Then over here from 1987, they have a desk lamp. But I love the theming in here, how they have the rope right here. Like, you're actually going up to Titanic. Like, isn't that something else? And as you walk throughout, like from room to room here, it's like you're going to like different parts of the ship, which is really, really neat. The next room we're going to right here actually is like you're boarding the ship. And I believe right here is where you go to have the uh, Titanic meal, which is a separate experience. We'll definitely put a video up of that in the near future. The next little exhibit we have right here is the message uh, you are hearing is the original message sent from Titanic, which is just incredible. Like, check this out, like, they have a completely themed, like, the original room that they have on Titanic, and the sign right here actually says, uh, April 14th, Sunday, 1912. And again, like, the theming in here is just so amazing. And they do have a sign right here, Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition. This is the, uh, gala dinner that I was telling you guys about. This looks incredible, and if you want more information about that, www.titanicorlando.com, and there's the number. Right here, they actually have an actual deck chair from the uh, movie Titanic with James Cameron. Like, this is very cool. And they have a white Starline blanket on it as well. Which you could purchase in the gift shop. <laughs> in this case here, we actually have some galley cookware brought up in 2000 and 1993. It's like crazy to look at this stuff though, like, look what the ocean did to this one right here, just from sitting on the bottom of the ocean. Right here we have some edging of floor tile from first class smoking room brought up in 2000. Look at that. We actually have hot and cold faucet right there. Like that's incredible. Then we have first class dining room uh, floor tile brought up in 1998. It's crazy, they almost have literally the whole piece of it there. We have some actual sheet music right here, brought up in 1993. Bow tie, brought up in 2000, and a pair of wool socks as well, brought up in 2000. Right over here we have some clarinet pouch and reeds from 1993. And look at all of the American currency and playing cards that they have actually brought up from Titanic. Like, these are so old, look at those. It's so crazy that we're actually able to film this and show this. And look at the room that they have over here from one of the uh, first class cabins, completely decorated to the time of Titanic. Like the chairs, the fireplace they have back there, the framed artwork, to even the couch that they have right here. I love the theming in this room right here. Like they have a bunch of like dishes and silverware that were brought up from Titanic. These are first class forks and teaspoons brought up in 1994. Then right over here, let's see what we have. We have first class uh, cups and saucers, crystal candy dishes from 2000 brought up in 1987. But again, like, I love all these mirrors and how, like, intricate the uh, lighting is in here. They have a bunch of pictures right here from actual passengers from Titanic. Right here we have uh, Marshall Brines. Then we have Charlie Alexander, first class. Then we have Mr. Albert Dick, first class. And the list just keeps going on here. This is incredible right here. It actually has the cold faucet. 
right there still attached to the marble brought up in 2000. And the main staircase area picture right here. Then we have some bed frame fragments brought up in 2000 as well. We're making our way into the next room here. That right there has E-deck uh, birthering. But look at this, this is just like we saw in the movie of Titanic where you have the uh, big door there and it's completely gated off. The next room has a bunch of floral plates right here brought up from Titanic. There's three of them. They look like they're actually whole, brought up in 1993. I love the theming in here. Again, we have some white star line, a freight list right here, some cargo. And again, this isn't right here from Titanic. It just kind of shows you what it looked like. Then over here, we actually have like a replica of one of the uh, vehicles that were on Titanic. This area here is pretty dark, but actually shows you like the coal and a replica of like the boilers that they used on Titanic. I'll get a closer look right here. But that's incredible. We have big chunks of coal right here from Titanic from 1994. Like these are like probably the size of a softball, I would say. And then we have a uh, thermometer backing right over here and a mud box lid right here. And again, that's from 2000 as well. Then that was brought up. This is really, really neat. It looks a little twisted right now, but this is a speaking tube on board as well as land. Uh, metal speaking tubes were used to communicate between deck floors. And this was brought up in 2000. Looks like Luke found the ship wheel right here. <laughs> that is very, very cool. Actually, the windows are completely blacked out, like just like it was on Titanic. Oh, what this here says it's a watertight door indicator panel. I guess this shows you kind of which doors you're going to close. The next room right here, you actually feel like you're on the deck of the Titanic. I know it's a little bit dark right here, but I think they have water right over here. You can actually see the, uh, the water. Just like you were on the ship here. So the, the new room right here is the memorial wall where it has a bunch of the uh, first class passengers. And then you have the uh, second class passengers. Then eventually over here to the third class passengers and the crew of the Titanic. Look at this though. Like this is just amazing. Check this out. An actual life jacket. That is incredible. But right here for the third class passengers, they lost 536 and only 174 were saved. And for first class passengers, only 130 were lost compared to 199 saved. So that kind of gives you the comparison there between first class and third class. We have a pair of actual laced shoes right here. The shoes are still laced, brought up in 2000. But look over here. We actually have a towel here brought up in 2000 as well. Like that is just crazy. Then we have a letter to Edgar Andrew from his mother, an actual letter brought up in 2000 and some postcards right here. We're gonna go ahead and scan our boarding pass to see if our passenger survived or passed away on Titanic. Again, we're just gonna scan our QR code right here. What do we got? I, I'm a, I died. I'm a victim here. Wallace Henry Hartley. That was British. My passenger passed away. Check out this sign right here. On the night of April 14th, 1912, the waters of the North Atlantic were below freezing, registering close to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Because the salt water freezes at a lower temperature than fresh water, the saltwater ocean was colder that night than freshwater iceberg as before you, which is literally right here. You can touch this actual like iceberg, if you will. Oh my word. And this is absolutely like freezing cold, like a sheet of ice. That is incredible. Look at that. You can actually see somebody's handprint right here. They must have held on to this slab of ice for quite some time. This is freezing though. I don't know how they did that. This right here is crazy. 1,302 lives were lost. When Titanic sank, 868 were saved. Carpathia uh, steaming to New York with survivors. 
none on other ships. They actually have a standard home and school dictionary right here brought up from Titanic on the ocean floor in 1993 and a few postcards here as well. And a twisted electric heater right here brought up in 1993. Like look at the different colors of like the patina from this. That is incredible. And right here they actually have a two ton piece of Titanic. Like this alone is just absolutely incredible how they even brought this up from the ocean floor. It's just mind-boggling to me. Right here they have an actual piece of the whole fragment. It's a touch piece brought up in 1996. So here's the piece right here. They actually have a hole so you can touch a piece of the actual Titanic, which is just, it really, really brings you close to that tragic day here, being actual, actually able to touch a piece of Titanic. So that tour was absolutely incredible. And then at the end here, it drops you into the gift shop. And I do want to show some of the prices and some of the different items that I think are interesting and just show you guys all that. For $21.95, they have these t-shirts larger than most modern skyscrapers in equally buoyant white star line. They have a bunch of these t-shirts right here in various colors. They have hoodies for RMS Titanic established 1912. And they actually say on the uh, ticket here, Titanic Artifact Exhibition, and these are $50 a piece. This is incredible. For $500,000, they have a 55 pound uh, piece of coal recovered from the wreck of Titanic. Like this is something else. And it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. For $14.95, you can get a 194 piece actual Lego of Titanic. This is actually really interesting. I like this a lot. Brandy and I actually have this one where it comes with the uh, commemorative coin and then the authentic piece of Titanic coal. And these are limited edition to 1912 and they come in a wooden box. Like they are really, really cool. But I like this one here framed with Titanic. Again, you get the uh, coin there. You get some of the authentic Titanic coal right there and Titanic sinks. For $12.95, they have some Titanic playing cards. I actually really like these. I find these really interesting. They have stickers. Large ones are $4.30 and small ones are $2.50. We have Titanic, the world's largest liner. Some of the crew. This one here is really fun. Like, that's amazing. Actual picture of Titanic. Then you have Titanic, world's largest liner again. This really caught my eye over here. You can actually purchase like replicas of the dishes from Titanic. They have three different sizes right here. And I love these bowls and plates. They actually say White Star Line right there. Like these are just incredible. Like one of a kind take homes for sure. That was seriously so much fun. And all of the history with Titanic, like you get to learn everything along the way. They also have like a walking tour where you can get a tour guide as well to kind of go through everything with you. But that was just so much fun, worth every penny, seriously. If you liked today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.